Welcome people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and welcome to Heat Check. This is our weekly review of the top 10 highest selling vintage Levi's over the last seven days. So let's get into it. So this week's Heat Check has some pretty banging Levi's. Some incredibly rare pieces on this list. Uh, probably, this is probably the coolest and like most interesting uh, list to date, in my opinion. There's some really amazing pieces on this list. Uh, some crazy stuff I've never seen before, um, and some super high selling and high value Levi's that got sold this week. So let's dig in. Uh, spoiler alert a little bit. The Type 2 shows up a lot, so just be ready for that. But still pretty amazing. All right, starting us off at number 10 today, we have this vintage Levi's denim jeans, Big E, Selvage, V-Stitch, Scoville, all that jazz. Uh, this uh, listing says the 1950s, suggests that it's from the 1950s, but um, I'm going to suggest that it might not be uh, for a couple different reasons. Uh, but this is a zippered jean, which is probably means that it's a fi uh, 501Z. Um, see here we have the Scoville zipper uh, right here. Uh, and, and that's that's probably more indicative, honestly, because he's not showing us the whether or not it has hidden rivets or not. It's probably more indicative of a 60s pair, in my opinion. So there's probably a 60s pair of a, either the 501Z or maybe even a 502, but I'm thinking the 501Z is probably the more likely in this situation. It is selvage. It's a beautiful. It's a, got a V-stitch. It's a beautiful pair of jeans. Uh, but I don't necessarily know that it's from the 50s, maybe the late 50s. But anyway, this uh, item, uh, this particular pair of jeans sold for $510 for number 10. All right, next up we have a pair of 501 X with the hidden rivets. Obviously, Big E will show you the hidden rivets right here. We have the hidden rivets. There you go, right there. Uh, those would have been removed later on. So that's pretty indicative that this is a, uh, a significantly older pair. Uh, this thing looks beautiful. Lots of good deep blue colors here. Uh, the patch obviously has been uh, removed or destroyed. Uh, you can see where those hidden rivets are peeking out of the corners of those pockets. Uh, but still, lots of great color in this in this particular pair, it, it, is, it seems like to me. There is your uh, big E. Uh, there is the watch pocket uh, selvage. So clearly an, an older uh, pair of jeans here, 50s, seems about right. Uh, this is a beautiful pair of jeans. Um, I'm actually a little bit surprised that it sold for what it did. It actually sold um, a bit less than what I expected. This pair of jeans sold for $550 plus shipping. Uh, again, a little surprised. I feel like this should have probably gone a little higher because it's a great pair of jeans. Uh, it is a small size, so maybe that's the case. So here's a really interesting one at number eight, uh, one that I've not ever seen before, at least I don't think I've seen before. Um, and it's this apparently 1950s uh, Sherpa, like red Sherpa. I've seen the red before. But it's the it's from the Levi's Western Wear line. Um, they include the term LVC here on this listing. I don't think it's um, actually from. Uh, it's not. Yeah. See, they say it's true vintage, but I don't, they probably just put this for a uh, just for the search uh, results, trying to get uh, some keywords in there. Uh, but this thing's really interesting. Again, I've never. I don't think I've ever seen this particular. Uh, style before lots of deep color still lots of life left in this thing. It looks like it's barely worn to be honest um, At least not worn significantly uh, Probably yeah 60s early 60s 50s sounds about right for this one um, Sounds about right for the the label you have the, the old big E label Western wear now This is pretty a pretty interesting uh, piece right here one of the more unusual ones uh, this one for six hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping from Conway, Arkansas, not too far from here. All right, next up we have a Type 3 from the 1960s. I'm gonna guess this is actually, uh, even though they don't say it here, this is gonna be a uh, 557. You see the big E there? Let's take a look inside uh, what we got here. Uh, looks good. It looks like it's a bigger patch, which the 557 did have. The patch got smaller later on in the late 60s, early 70s. Um, so I'm pretty confident this would be a 557, uh, which does, uh, that's why it commands the price that it does. Lots of deep blue still left in this thing. Uh, this particular jacket sold for $750 plus shipping. 
a beautiful uh, early 60s type 3. All right, then we have a Big E Redline uh, 501. Uh, this thing is uh, interesting that this it let it beat out some of the jeans on this list, but 35, 27 is a pretty good size. We've got the single stitch uh, on the back of the uh, pocket. We've got the Big E. Uh, it looks like everything else is in line here. We do not have a... Um, uh, v stitch. That's because this is this is not that terribly old. Um, this is uh, probably from the uh, late 60s, early 70s, that transition period. Um, it's a beautiful pair of jeans. Though there are, I think there are a few like flaws. You can see back here on the back of the leg. Um, there's you know significant uh, wear in the seat. Like I mean, it's a good pair. I am a little bit surprised that it went for what it did, but it's still a great pair of jeans for sure. It went for $799 plus shipping. Here is a pair of jeans that I have actually never seen before in my life, and it appears that the seller has never actually seen it either. Um, this is a this is a 6, uh, 612 apparently, uh, which is pretty interesting. It has a V stitch, and you can tell that the, the denim looks un, a little bit unusual, and that's because this is probably one of the earliest uh, versions of stretch denim that Levi's produced, apparently, according to this guy, and I'm not actually sure of this myself, but they started uh, making stretch denim as early as 1963. Uh, and this is one of those pairs. You can see that it actually looks like it has sort of a taper. Um, it's a, a bit slim, kind of like the 606, super slim. Um, and in fact, he sort of mentions that it has a lot, to, it has a lot of similar characteristics to the 606. Um, this is a fascinating piece. Um, again, I've never seen it before in my life. Never seen an example of it. Obviously, I've seen the 606 before, uh, but this one is definitely unusual. It appears that it has all the right markers for a for that uh, a gene at that time. Uh, but man, what a fascinating piece! I'd guess probably probably like mid to late 60s is just a guess for me. You have the V stitch, so you're gonna. You're not going to probably get this late 60s, actually. The V-stitch was ended before that, so probably mid to early 60s. Uh, uh, really fascinating pair of jeans here. Uh, this pair of jeans sold for $850 plus shipping. Definitely one of the most unique pairs of Levi's we have seen on this list. Coming in at number four, we have a Type 2. The Type 2 507 XX. Um, I'm actually a little bit surprised at the, at the price of this. It uh, looks like the seller just went ahead and put it up for a buy it now and it probably sold for basically whatever um, well it definitely did sell um, for what he asked for it um, which probably means he didn't ask for enough um, you can see it's got the rivet here uh, at the at the wrist I mean this is a beautiful beautiful type 2 denim jacket the selvage on the inside it's a lot of deep blues I don't see any significant flaws at all um, I'm actually, again, I'm really surprised that it went for $980. Uh, this j uh, jacket probably is worth a little bit more than that, is my, would be my guess. Um, I bet he could have gotten uh, 12, uh, 1200, 1300, 1400, something like that. Uh, but beautiful jacket, looks like it's in excellent condition. On a little bit on the small side, but that's not unusual. Now you can see that the length is pretty. Uh, pretty short but man what a beautiful jacket great denim type 2 from the 1950s all right we're going to continue on with the type 2 the type 2 does make a pretty good showing here on this list today uh, like i said before this is a another type 2 507 double x though it does have its patch you can see there 507 double x size 40 probably not much different in sim uh, size as the other one um yeah so it is a bit surprising that like I said, this one has quite a bit more wear, even though it doesn't have its uh, patch. It has more wear than the previous one, so uh, a little bit surprised that it didn't go. Uh, yeah, it has a lot more wear, to be honest. Um, the other person probably could have made quite a bit more money, uh, I imagine. So what a beautiful denim jacket here in the Type 2 from the 1950s. Uh, went for $1,550 in auction with 18 bids, $20 uh, shipping from Northern Hollywood, California. Beautiful jacket, uh, but uh, went for $1,500. Pretty pretty good sale. I told you the Type 2s would dominate. Here we have a Type 2, and this one's an old, old Type 2. You can see here we have what it looks like is a an actual leather patch on the back. Um, it's hard to tell. The buyer does not give us any close-ups. 
Uh, this is from, looks like maybe a rodeo, a uh, falls rodeo or something rodeo. I can't really, I'm not going to really try to read it. But uh, looks like uh, super deep blue. This was an old one. This is an old Type 2, uh, probably one of the earlier Type 2s here. It's my guess, but what a beautiful uh, deep color on that and probably looks like looks like uh, perhaps a leather patch which would have been uh, the leather patches were eliminated like in the 50s so this would have uh, probably determined that it's a bit uh, on the earlier side uh, but uh, fantastic uh, p jacket went for twenty four hundred and eighty four dollars with 28 bids and twenty dollars uh, expedited shipping what an incredible incredible jacket all right, now before we get to number one, please let us know how uh, you are enjoying the videos in the comments below. Uh, which one of these uh, jackets or jeans would you like in your own collection? And uh, remember, we do have another heat check on Thursday with vintage t-shirts. Uh, that's a lot of fun. So let's get to number one. All right at number one is a jean I had been watching for a little bit after finding it in the search. Uh, I figured it would go for a lot of money, and it certainly did. Uh, this is a vintage 502 double X selvage denim jean. Uh, from the late 40s, early 50s. Uh, this is apparently a dead stock pair. I mean, it looks pretty impressive. You can actually still see the staples in the back pocket of the jean. Uh, this is a beautiful pair. Uh, we still have the leather patch here. Uh, you can totally see it. Uh, the one-sided Levi's tab, which is very indicative of it being uh, rather old. Uh, then we also have, you can see hidden rivets there and button flies because this is before the 502 became a zippered jean. Um, and then we have, you can just see the details on here, just incredible. Um, incredible pair of jeans. Uh, you can see the, the uh, big, big size actually. It looks like, it looks like a pretty large size. Uh, I can't really tell. Is that 76? So this is one of those, those store displays. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, does it say, does it say, I'm not sure it says that, it says the, the size, but still huge pair of jeans, a beautiful example uh, in great condition. This pair of jeans sold for $3,383 with five bids. Wow. To top number one, what a pair. So that was the top 10, obviously lots of cool stuff, some type twos, lots of type twos at the top, which type twos are awesome. Uh, but man. That those 612s, which are, are you know 612, 606, whatever they were, those such interesting and bizarre rare jeans, and then obviously number one uh, being such a, an incredible specimen from the 1940s and 50s. Uh, what 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 a show! So cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.